Now, the first stop on our tour of fun employment is a healthy breakfast with our good friend, Mr. Squidward. Hey, Squidward! How are you this fine morning? How many times do I have to tell you? Keep this off this my dish, yes! We're back with five more SpongeBob goofs and slip ups. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Wait, before we get into things, make sure to leave a comment down below letting us know other cartoons you'd like us to cover on the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you enter in to our monthly shout out giveaway. In the episode Born Again Crabs, Mr. Krabs eats a rotten Krabby Patty and nearly dies. Fortunately, he's given another chance at life by the Flying Dutchman, and he eventually returns to the Krusty Krab as a new man. Now, by the end of the episode, Mr. Krabs eventually goes back to his old ways. But during this scene, where he kindly asks SpongeBob to grab a fresh patty, SpongeBob's front belt is completely missing. To be fair, his side belt is still intact, but the entire front portion of the belt is nowhere to be found. Oh, also, if you slow down the footage as Spongebob goes to grab the old patty that the customer dropped, his legs seem to be missing too. Here's a clip. Excuse me, but I dropped my Krabby Patty. Could I get another one? Spongebob? Yes, sir. The crab policy clearly states that once the burger has reached the customer, it is his slash her responsibility. Spongebob! That's the old policy. Now run back and bring out a fresh one. Aye, aye, sir. Sorry about the confusion. Free toy. What if Squidward was nice? Well, that idea is explored in the Season 5 episode, Breath of Fresh Squidward. In this episode, Squidward accidentally electrocutes himself with an electric fence. And for some reason, he suddenly becomes overly nice. Overbearingly nice. To the point where it even annoys Spongebob. Eventually, by the end of the episode, Spongebob snaps, but if we head to the beginning of the episode, we can spot this subtle error, where Spongebob is missing his pants. Ew, Spongebob, put your pants back on, you freak. Story time! Can I tell it this time, Squidward? Pretty please! Whenever Squidward sees us, the storm clouds in his brain roll in and a nasty storm rages. So, Squidward's happy gland is forced to take shelter in the recesses of his mind. In the episode, The Bad Guys Club for Villains, Spongebob and Patrick watch a lost Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode. Now, there's a scene where Mermaid Man is doing somersaults in the air, or water. And while he's doing these somersaults, he is also talking about a plan. But if you look at his mouth, it isn't moving at all. He's just spinning, and his mouth is still. Here's a clip. I believe that if the atomic flounder were to touch that wretched growth, it would cause a chain reaction, reversing the polarity at the molecular level, restoring Barnacle Boy to his natural state. After SpongeBob gets fired, and the episode appropriately titled SpongeBob, You're Fired, he eventually ends up finding a new job at Weenie Hunt. At first, things go pretty bad for SpongeBob, with him even being fired at his new job. But by the end of the episode, he finds his way back home to the Krusty Krab. Now, earlier on in the episode, when we see Squidward gardening, he has three markers for plants. However, later, when we see the same garden again, those markers have suddenly changed to one single marker making for a silly continuity error. Now, the first stop on our tour of fun employment is a healthy breakfast with our good friend, Mr. Squidward. Hey, Squidward! How are you this fine morning? How many times Do I have to tell you? Keep this off this my dish, yes! In the season one episode, Ripped Pants, SpongeBob rips his pants on the beach, and this causes everyone to laugh. 
Due to the newfound attention SpongeBob is receiving, he gets carried away with the joke and pulls a joke in pretty poor taste. This time, instead of everybody laughing, everybody becomes annoyed. However, in this shot, you can see two duplicate fish that look exactly the same. Who knows, maybe it's not a mistake and they're twins or something, but no, this is a mistake. Here's a clip.